Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I have for you my review on Chanel's Holiday 2022 collection. The much awaited Chanel Holiday 2022 collection. It's already available in boutiques and by the time that I'm uploading this video, most likely at Chanel's website as well as other retailers, I will be leaving all the details where to find the collection on the description box below for your convenience. All the details will be there. The collection is petite and concise. It is inspired by the moon, the galaxy, the constellation, which is a trend that we have been seeing not only obviously with Chanel, but also with Dior, which I have already reviewed Dior's Holiday 2022 collection. If you want to watch that video after you watch this one, I invite you to do so. Also, Pat McGrath and many other brands have inspired themselves with, again, the constellation, and in this case, with Chanel, is the moon. As you can tell, I already have foundation, concealer on. I will be leaving all the details of the products that I'm using today on the description box below. Now, here we have it. <laughs> This is the beauty in 937 Ombre de Lune. It is a very, nothing groundbreaking. It's a brown nude eyeshadow palette, something that I think you will be able to use it throughout the entire year. You have beautiful brown tones, a bronzy tone, that gold, like a very deep gold that looks extremely beautiful. Let's go ahead and swatch it. I feel so bad to swatch it, but we have to. Another thing, I don't know if you have noticed it, but instead of having the logo of Chanel in white, it is in gold, which is so pretty. I'm just giving you a closer look. Hopefully you can see there is the CC logo here. There's some kind of like sunburst or stars, and then there is also a embossing of one of the emblematic Chanel number no. five or Coco Noir, you know, these, these bottles right here. Yeah, just the silhouette, which I find it really, really pretty. Very beautiful. Okay, let's give it a swatch. And you know, this is perfect timing because my little daughter is waiting for me to take her to a party. So I'm getting ready with you before we go to the party. Super exciting. The shades are smooth and creamy. You have three satin shades and three are satin shades. This one is a metallic shade. Okay, let's go ahead and get us started with a quick eyeshadow look. Going with a Sonia G Classic Crease and I'm gonna go to this shade first. And I'm going to take it above the crease. Ooh, that's nicely pigmented there. And if you're new here to my channel, welcome and welcome to all of you, my dear friends. I do film in natural light, so hopefully this will give you the best, best representation of how these products look if you were looking at them in person. I'm looking right here to the swatches because I'm thinking, okay, what to do next? I think I'm gonna go to the deepest shade with the Sonia G Mini Booster. And I'm gonna take it. On the outer third, wow, it's gorgeous. And so easy to deepen out too. Definitely you don't need to use all four shades to create an eyeshadow look with this eyeshadow quad. You can just use two or three shades or do one and done. Just want to try all the formulas here. Sonia G Builder Pro and I'm going to go to this gorgeous bronzy tone and I'm going to take it inner all the way until it meets to that other shade. And then I'm gonna just go with my handy finger. <laughs> and by the way, I'm using a Chanel nail polish and I'm taking this shade and applying it on the center of the eyelid. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful shade. And you know, it's a metallic, non 
in the pan looks textured but if you apply it with your finger it doesn't show any fallout no texture no nothing i mean like it's so so beautiful sonia g builder and i'm going to this shade and i'm gonna take it on the lower lash line by the way this brush is from the new sonia g fusion set that is about to launch or again perhaps when you're watching this video has launched already i will be leaving the early access also in the description box below with a sonia g flat definer i'm gonna go to the deepest brown shade and i'm gonna take this shade and apply it right here on my lower lash line I'm just making it a little bit deeper. This eyeshadow palette is more of like a bronzy, coppery, golden tone palette. Very, very wearable. I went ahead and applied some mascara, eyeliner on. Again, all the details of the products will be on the description box below. As you can tell, I haven't applied any bronzer. Also, I haven't applied any blush because now we're going to go into the oversized illuminating face powders. Now, these are oversized. And if you remember this past summer, Chanel came out with these oversized bronzing powders. This one came with 15 grams of product, 18 months shelf life made in Italy. These are also 18 months shelf life made in Italy, but they have one gram, one more gram of product, 16 grams. That is crazy. And they are called the Eclat Lunaire in Eau Rose and Couvre Doré. So here you go. This is, sorry, my fingerprints are all over, but this one is Eau Rose, which is a kind of like a rose gold tone, basically. And then here I have Couvre Doré which is a golden tone. I'm gonna to put them side by side. Uh, let's go ahead and swatch them. Starting with the Eau Rose, and these ones, they have the same beautiful embossing of the moon and then the stars, and then the silhouette of a Coco Chanel bottle, a Chanel number no. five. Now, I thought that these were gonna be a little bit lighter, but they are swatching like a true highlighter, but we will have to see how we apply them. And now this one is Couvre Doré. So rose gold, Couvre Doré. I'm gonna swatch it right here and here because we're gonna do some comparisons in a minute. Beautiful shades, huh? Okay, let's go then first with the shade All Rose and I'm gonna go with a Sonia G cheek brush. Such a soft, beautiful shade. definitely a luminizer and not a true highlighter which i'm happy to report because that's what i was thinking if these are more of luminizers rather than highlighters they're going to be more wearable mostly when they are coming in this huge packaging now let's go for couvre doré definitely a golden tone this will be amazing i have a light to medium skin tone my foundation matches they will be in the description box below but these will be incredible for summertime with a tan it's not too deep and definitely again a luminizer rather than a highlighter i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it it's gonna be a little bit hard perhaps to see but let's do something. Let's go for a Chanel blush. I'm just going to give some color to my cheeks. And now let's go again with Eau Rose. 
and I'm just gonna apply it over top so now that you see there's a base maybe you can see it even better do you see it's giving a glow from within kind of like a almost wet kind of look which is gorgeous and now I'm gonna go with Coupe Doré so exquisite so beautiful and this collection also comes with four lipsticks, two of them in that Lestre formula, which is this type right here. And then another two on the Rouge Allure Lac formulation. One that looks more of like a rosy tone and one red in tone, and then the same thing with this one. I will be putting the names, everything on the description box below too, and most likely an image right here. And there are two repromotes on that Lestre lipstick too. But today I'm gonna be using the Rouge Allure Lac in the shade Timeless which is the deepest red that I have, and it's actually a little sample that I received long ago, but I thought, hey, it is a holiday look and we need some sort of red. Oh yes. I went ahead and applied a little bit of bronzer, now I'm gonna go to Eau Rosé, and I'm gonna use this big brush, I know, call me crazy, but, I just want to try it as a luminizer to buff your face. You can definitely do it. it there's no particles or, of glitter or shimmer and it just gives a beautiful luminous finish to your skin. A little goes a long way though. And it looks super, super pretty. Now I went ahead and did some comparisons. Right on the middle, we have the new palette in Ombre de Lune from this holiday collection. Again, the middle is the swatches of this. And then I have swatch Tweet Couvre number one right over here. This is Tweet Couvre which I think it leads more neutral and not so warm as the one from the holiday collection. And then I also swatched Mediterranean, which it was part of the summer collection, and it's right here, which is more cool tone. So this is Mediterranean, Ombre de Lune, Tweet Couvre. Although the new one leans warm, it's not super warm. It has a little bit of like a bronzy tone, a little bit of rose gold, so it has its nuances that is very beautiful. Now in terms of that luminizers, I wanna compare Oros with Perle de Lumière, which is one of my favorite ones. And I have swatched, this one is Oros, and this one is Perle de Lumière. A little bit cooler, a little bit more translucent. Now, in terms of the oversized luminizer in Couvre Doré, I went ahead and compared it by swatching Les Chances du Chanel, which is way more rosy in tone. Also from another holiday collection, I think 2019 or 2020. So this one right here is Les Chances du Chanel, and this is Doré Or. Alrighty, my friends, so here it is the final look. What I think about these products from the new holiday 2022 collection by Chanel, starting for the eyeshadow quad. Again, not revolutionary, but the formulation is creamy, smooth, full of emollients, super easy to blend. That shades are not too warm tone that makes it something that you can only wear it say for full time is an eyeshadow palette that you can wear year round the shades are beautiful there's no matte shades right here this shade is not texturized as the one from the tweet couvre eyeshadow quad the tweet couvre eyeshadow quad is more like a sparkly so this makes it really wearable and super beautiful an eyeshadow palette that again i think this year a lot of brands they are launching collections that you can try their formulation and then you can get inside the brand but use the collection for the entire year rather to be just a collection for only and exclusively the holiday season although obviously these items are limited edition now as far as the luminizers 
I think it's like, wow, why so big? Why so huge? But I'm not upset with them because they are just stunning. Look at that gloss effect. I mean, you don't see a shadow. It's, there's no overcast. Again, you can use it depending on your skin tone as all over. I shouldn't say not setting powder, kind of like a finishing powder, very light-handed and just buffing it. There's no glitter. The formula is just super soft and smooth. Both of them are just stunning. Like even the deepest shade doesn't cause a shadow because again, with a luminizer, you don't run into that problem that you have so much pigment under it that creates this very harsh look, but rather a very natural light aura of glowy effect that just looks amazing. I think Chanel did a beautiful job with this collection, petite, concise, something that I like a lot more. And as I was telling you, my friends, don't you worry, the rest of the collection, which is the gloss for the eyelids, the brows, and the lashes, I will be reviewing it separately with the lipsticks and creating an entire Chanel holiday look. That way you can see the products, the difference of the products in detail. Also, there's gonna be a lot of gift sets from Chanel, as well as the Chanel number no. five, kind of like uh, shimmering ge oil gel for your body, as well as the same product, but for the Mademoiselle fragrance, which I'm super excited to get my hands on it, and I'm gonna go ahead and review it. And I mean, we cannot finish this video without the fragrance of the day. It's gonna be Coco Noir, elegant, beautiful, fresh, but, Mm, empowering just just stunning okay my friends and now i would love to know from you which of these products from the chanel holiday 2022 collection you are ready to pick up or perhaps you have already placed your order or perhaps you already have them on your hands let's just continue the conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i want to invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my instagram if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye bye